In the city of Cascade, where even the fish are festooned with Eclipse eyewear, the star of the upcoming celestial show is making its morning climb over the Salmon River Mountains. With the day well underway, you can sense the beginnings of a holiday weekend hustle and bustle building no, we're not that crazy. on a Monday. And especially since there's going to be one that goes right over Dallas in seven years. So. Almond flavor. Economic experts who estimate these things. Yeah, I added the vanilla. I'm steaming the milk right now. I'll be with you guys in just sure, a minute. No problem. Say the eclipse will cost Americans nearly seven hundred million dollars in productivity. Yeah, an apple cider, decaf Mexican mocha, that's the Mexican with the marshmallow, and then that's the white mocha with the peppermint. Except here. You're welcome. Where the cue for caffeine at tea leaves and coffee beans right. goes out the door. Meanwhile, out the door and in the middle of Main Street, a quick glance at license plates tells you how far from all over the West sky watchers have traveled. Utah, Oregon, Washington, California. Now they're, they're getting ready. The final hour forces fans to find either paraphernalia. You don't have kid sizes here. Yep, we got youth right over here. Uh, the smallest is small youth. Or a spot to set up expensive equipment. This one, I had to buy the rear projection screen material. <laughs> oh, we've started. And oh, yes, there we go. Oh, it has started. As the moon commences its coverage of. And those glasses finally get put to proper use. What are you seeing on your, your film there? Scott Lee so with Boise Astronomical on, Society. On the film here is the image of the sun, and uh, it's got a chunk taken out of it has been in place so, here for nearly 90 yeah, minutes absolutely. for an event he's never seen yeah, I've, I've uh, been told um, that actually the totality is just an experience that you can't describe does it feel cooler now more than halfway eclipsed it does chili is just one way Nina Chambers can describe it I know she and her family and friends this is almost a you know put your sweater on kind of I took it off different it's getting warm. I know I made the 30 minute drive from McCall oh my goodness to park themselves along the Payette River on any given day oh my goodness look at that the sun is 400 times the size of Earth's moon. But on this day, Mom, want to play speed? The moon is 400 times closer to Earth, making the town of Cascade, normally home to about a thousand people, appear to swell at least 10 times its usual size. It's very uniting, I think. I'm hopeful, anyway. This is awesome. <laughs> then, at 11:25. As the moon works its way directly between the earth and the sun, the spectacle all these people came to see climbs to a crescendo. Time of totality, 1127. <laughs> Total solar eclipses happen every 18 months across the globe. But the last time one was seen in Idaho was back in 1979. Crazy! So some waited a lifetime for this moment. Oh, here it comes again. Put your glasses back on. Put your glasses back on. Some others, not as long. But for the crowd in Cascade, the mere one minute and 55 seconds of total solar eclipse, the experience they saw and shared and felt will likely remain burned in their memories for the length of another lifetime. I'm so glad I came here and didn't go for the 99.75 in McCall. That is the most awesome thing I will never forget.